This video is looking at Dupuytren's contracture and massage. Dupuytren's contracture is a condition which can cause usually the fingers to contract, sometimes meaning that the person loses normal function of the hands. The, the finger normally pulls in, um, so the hand becomes useless as the, film, the finger gets further and further in. It's more common in men than in women, and it's mainly a condition of middle age and onwards. When women do tend to get it, they tend to present less severe symptoms. Men of Northern European heritage seem to be at much greater risk than any other groups. And there appears to be a link between men with Dupuytren's are also then going on to develop diabetes, but that's not fully understood yet. Despite some of the myths, it's not caused by overuse, operating machinery or too much golf, nor is it a virus. It's a thickening of the connective tissue below the skin, but on top of the tendons. In this way, it's similar to scar tissue. As it, as it builds, it pulls the finger forward. Its exact cause is unknown, but it's thought to have a genetic link, so it runs in families. It's most common in the hands, but it can occur in the knuckles, the soles of the feet, and for some men, it can develop in the penis, causing a curvature. The condition is normally painless, but it's very inconvenient because the affected fingers become pro progressively and permanently difficult or impossible to use. Surgery is often carried out to release the finger, but with mixed results. Other specialists recommend injections or radiation treatment, but for some these cause unpleasant side effects. There aren't any specific contraindications for this, we just need to avoid working over any broken skin. Massage will not completely fix a hand that's already ba badly impacted, but it can make a positive difference and the earlier the massage treatment starts, the better. In the first stages, the condition can appear as a nodule in the palm, most often but not always at the base of the ring finger or the little finger. As the tissue thickens, it causes a shortening of the palmar fascia, the fibrous tissue that lies under the skin of the palm. Releasing this contracture in the early stages will help the hand to remain more flexible. The protocol for massaging the hands is the same as the, as the details in the videos on hand massage, just with some extra stretches. This is something that your client will need to engage with and do themselves in between seeing you. They need to commit to doing some simple stretching exercises with their hands two or three times a day, and we'll look at these soon. Remember, we can't fix two pretends with massage. We're looking at some small release and at best holding it at bay. The big positive that even if someone ends up having surgery to release the finger, we know that with the massage, we'll have kept all the muscles surrounding it supple and working as best it can. Okay, so we come now to look at the practical work for Dupuytren's contracture. Gordon is one of my regular clients. He does a 200 mile round trip to come and see me each time. And he's demonstrating for us nicely here a Dupuytren's contracture. You can see the nodule that's developed in the palm and that will eventually start to pull this finger forward and downwards. And that means it's gonna make very, very difficult to use the hand. So what we want to do is to try and stop this developing any further. Remember, we're not going to get rid of the contracture, but we're trying to slow its development down. Um, Gordon's already had a contracture treated in the other hand, and we'll see that later when we come to look at scar work. Um, there are a few different things you can do here. There's some stretches that we'll come on to, but to begin with, I want to show you what we can do with our, our massage as well. I'm going to use just a little bit of lotion here so that I don't, um, I don't stretch the skin too much, but I also don't want it to be too oily. If it's too oily, you'll just slip off the hands. I'm supporting the hand, but as I come to each finger, I'm just pulling that finger down. Now, it's not a kind of playground to pull it down so it hurts. It's quite a gentle, just extending the finger through its normal range of movement. And then I'm working down, kind of almost if these are the edges of the fingers, working down this edge towards the contracture. I'm using fairly deep pressure here because I've already done all of the warm up handwork, the detailed handwork into the arm and right up to the shoulder. The reason I'm doing right up to the shoulder is that this can affect all of the musculature here. So I'm, I'm going back to source now. So you can see I'm just, I'm working each finger in turn. I'm working fairly deeply. I'm coming up as I reach this nodule, but you can work into it. It won't do any harm to, to work into it. I'm working all of the fingers and I'm also working around the thumb. You can use either hand. I'm just using one more so that you can see it in the camera shot. Working right through, even the little finger, even though that, that's not, as you can feel it, that's not heading into the contracture. But once you get to here, you'll feel it under, under your thumb. 
the way it pulls towards the contracture, and especially this middle finger where the nodule is situated. And I would normally do this work for maybe three or four minutes, just making sure that I give that a really good workout. And then we're going to move to some stretches that will help this. I'm going to be asking Gordon to do these stretches two or three times a day, every day, just to try and keep this at bay and slow the development. So the first stretch is to take the other hand and to pull back on each finger in turn. The level to which it pulls back will depend on each client's individual flexibility. There isn't a right and wrong. Some people will get to here, some people will get all the way back. Spend about 30 seconds to a minute on each finger. We'll show you a little bit quicker here. And this is the finger. You can see actually that goes, that doesn't go quite as far back because that's restricted by the nodule. Working through all the fingers. And then finally the thumb. So we're just pulling everything back and stretching, but it's got to be, the client has to do this themselves. You can't do this to the client because it's got to be to their own tolerance. We're then going to put both hands positioning, kind of prayer position with the, the heel of the hands together. And we're going to lift our arms, keeping the, the palms together as much as you can. It doesn't matter if you can only get to here or if you can come all the way up. And that just, that just flexes the inner arm. And then from there, we're going to lift our palms and try and keep the fingers together. So I'm going to encourage Gordon just to put his fingers together at the bottom to release the, the stretch a little bit and then just to move out from here. Because of the contracture, it's more difficult for Gordon than it is for me. But with practice, that will come in a little bit and he'll get more of this flexibility into it. And so there's just some very simple work you can do into the palm with this work and the stretches, and that will help, the help arrest a little bit the development of the Jupiter tense.